dreaming about a moment like this. As a child, did you ever dream of a moment like this? And when you did, how did it end up? For sure, for sure, I always dreamed about this moment. Um, like I said, in the driveway, shooting on a little court, I'm always three, two, one, shooting it up. If I miss, I add some more seconds on the clock, like like something <laughs> crazy happened. But, uh, it was for sure a moment I always dreamed of. I'm just happy I was able to come to fruition. Did, did you feel like? Did, did it feel like you expected it to feel? Did it feel like it felt in your house? Yeah, for sure, for sure. This is this is crazy. It's an unbelievable moment. And we're playing for the national championship, so it doesn't like it. Walk us through the shot, please. Um, um, got the ball with seven seconds. I tried to go downhill. Dude um, cut me off. I couldn't get to the rim, so I went to a shot couple with one dribble pull up, and I just made the shot, and I'm happy. You've obviously watched basketball your whole life as a kid. What, until this moment, I know this is your favorite buzzer beater of all time, <laughs> outside of this, what has been your favorite buzzer beater, either pros or college? Oh, pros or college. Um, the college one I liked was um, the Villanova game winner. That was crazy. Um, that was crazy. That was one of the best. Um, where was that at? It was in Houston all <laughs> That's crazy. And then also, you know, Kobe, that's my favorite ever, player ever, and he has a bunch of game winners. Yeah. So I'll say that. Okay. Have you watched the shot that's going to be replayed for decades and decades when they show highlights of some of the all-time great shots and you're going to be in it? What are your thoughts about it? It's crazy. It's crazy. Like I said, I used to watch, you know, March Madness all the time. So, uh, to be in this position, it's a, it's a blessing. Dream from true. I'm just, I'm just happy. How easy was the shot was that for you? How easy to play or how difficult to play was that? Um, like I said, I, I got to a shot I'm comfortable with. I'm comfortable with one dribble pull up. That shot I've been working on all summer. Um, so it felt good leaving my hands. It uh, felt good the whole way in. And it went in and I'm like, all right. Uh, the joy playing for national championship. Tell me about it. It's, it's crazy. It's crazy. This is, this is what we set out to do um, from the beginning of the year. I'm just happy to be in this position. Uh, yeah, we don't, we don't, Mm -hmm. Message to the people back in San Diego watching this. They're in the gas lamp, they're in Petco, they're NBA Haas. What do you want to tell them? Uh, we're going to try to win this for you guys. We're going to try to win this for you guys. Um, this is an unbelievable feeling right now. Uh, we need all the support and all the love. And uh, like I said, we're going to try to win it for you guys. And how crazy do you think your phone is right now? <laughs> it's probably crazy. It's crazy. I haven't just got a chance to look at it yet. Yeah, it's for sure. How, how much family do you have here, and have you talked to any of your relatives? Uh, yeah, I have, a, I have a bunch of family out here, actually. My parents, uh, my auntie, uncle, cousins. So, um, I, I was with them all last night, just uh, just hanging out with them, trying to get my head right for the game. Uh, it's been great. Kaylin Clark went to find them after yesterday, the National Championship, when they got the national championship. Did you go try to find them, or have you had any time to even make eye contact with them? I for sure made eye contact with them. They were uh, they were close to the court, so I saw them um, after I hit the shot. So, uh, like I said, it's a great feeling to have them here. They've been a, a, a big time uh, for me in my life. So uh, I'm just happy I could do this for them and for whole San Diego. How long do you think it takes till this moment really sinks in? I mean, you just hit the biggest shot in San Diego State men's basketball <laughs> history. Um, it's not going to sink in until it's all over. It's going to all over. Um, like I said, we still got more games to win. We got one more game to win, so that's our, our focus now. How did you guys keep the confidence? You didn't lead in the second half until that shot fell. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, we never panicked when we went down. We went down 14. We never panicked. Guys made some big time plays. We got some big time offensive rebounds. So um, it was credit to the whole team. It wasn't just me or Matt making making big plays. It was the whole team making plays. Have you ever hit a buzzer beater? Uh, yeah, I hit one earlier this year, first in New Mexico. Um, but the, that the, that has no <laughs> no comparison to this. Does that help? I mean, when you have the ball in that spot, you used to being in that position. Uh, I mean, yeah, like I said, it's a, it's a shot I work on, one dribble pull up, um, shot I'm comfortable with, and I've hit it so many times throughout the summer, so today is just another another make. How many times you say, you're going to be part of NCAA tournament, you know, you get a buzzer beater in the final. What, I mean, what does it mean to know that tonight you kind of put your name in the history books? That's crazy. It's crazy to, to, even, to even say that. Like I said, I've watched March Madness for the longest um, since I was a kid, and I'm happy I'm in this position. It's a blessing. And, uh, like I said, we got one more win. One more win. How many times? Every year? You watch it every year as a kid growing up? 
Uh, pretty much, yeah, pretty much. I mean, I used to do brackets with my family and uh, stuff like that. So. You ever win? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I used to oh, always win. Oh, okay. <laughs> How many, how many times this summer would you say you hit that shot or something like that? A lot, a lot. Um, that was one of the biggest emphasis for me. Um, last year, I didn't really take mid-range shots a lot. Um, so to get a uh, mid-game was, was big for me in the, the summer. That was my emphasis. So uh, I went into the summer just focusing on that. And uh, it's played, paid dividends for today. Was it like 100 shots a day, 500 shots a day? Was your amount good to me? Um, uh, it wasn't more like that. It was more like trying to make some in a row. Okay. So I was trying to get 10, 15 in a row. Okay. Um, just to get my consistency up. Um, but like I said, credit to my trainers, credit to you know, so my family just letting me stay in San Diego for the summer to work out and get better. So um, we're in this position and we're ready to win the whole thing. What do you like this dream about this? Like this is the ultimate dream I would imagine. You know, yeah. hitting the hitting the shot. This is this ever crossed your mind? Yeah, yeah. This is a dream come true. Win a national championship. That's that's a dream come true also. So we're gonna try to win this thing and we got one more, we're gonna do it. What do you think this moment and that shot means to the city of San Diego? Oh, uh, it means a lot. It means a lot. Um, San Diego, it's a it's a winning culture there and to do this for them it is unbelievable. The city uh, it's a big time city. Uh, I'm just I'm just happy I was able to do this for them.